Democratic Governor John Bell Edwards vetoed 28 bills this year, but one is drawing some national attention yeah, here. It's causing clash with state Republicans. Tan Trung reports. You could call the bill to block transgender athletes from playing on K-12 girls teams, future-based, because no one can seem to point out a time when such an athlete has tried to do that in Louisiana. There are no transgender athletes in Louisiana right now, tr or no transgender students trying to play sports, and there hasn't been one. And the Louisiana High School Athletic Association has a very strict rule in place already. Eyewitness News political analyst Clancy Dubo says the Republican-backed transgender sports bill is legislation that has little practical value, but plays well politically to the conservative base. This is a political statement. It's a culture war that Republicans are waging around the country. In Florida, we're going to do what's right. Florida's stand governor signed a similar bill into law last month. At least six state, other Republican governors have done the same the since the spring. Like the At a time when social justice and equality are getting more attention, the there is pushback. The MLB All-Star Game last week was held in Denver instead of Atlanta. The league made the move after Georgia passed what Democrats called restrictive voter laws. Georgia Republicans said it's part of corporate cancel culture and they ran we this ad robbed. during the All-Star Game. Democrats stole our All-Star Game to push their divisive political agenda. With Louisiana's veto session to begin Tuesday, the advocate is reporting that the NCAA informed Governor John Bell Edwards that the state's transgender sports ban goes against its policy of anti-discrimination. Leaders in New Orleans tourism fear the NCAA could yank next year's Final Four tournament from New Orleans if that bill becomes law. It's troubling, you know, I mean, we have a very fragile but recovering economy in the city of New Orleans and in the state of Louisiana, and anything that runs the risk of disrupting that recovery, I think, is problematic at this point. Walt Leger of New Orleans and Company understands the politics involved, but he says legislators must also consider what the current cultural market is telling them. It's more important that we realize that we are operating inside of it and we are seeing it make certain recommendations about where they intend to put their money and do business. And political watchers say it's unclear if Republicans have enough votes to override the governor's veto, but they say since this is a new session and a session that's never had a reference, it's unpredictable what will happen. I did reach out to the Speaker of the House of Representatives, a Republican, to get comment on this, he said he was unavailable today to interview. Reporting from the Smoothie King Center, Tan Trung, Eyewitness News.